Rome. And offerings in the Old Testament from earliest time, and particularly in the tabernacle, talk about those offerings that are a sweet aroma to God. Sweet smelling offering of which he is pleased. Now why is this so? Let's have a look at Romans 3. Just as we close. Romans 3. Romans chapter 3. Why is this so? Well, first things first. God will by no means clear the guilty. He won't clear you. He will not clear me. Now, as parents, we tend to excuse our children. Uh, little Johnny, little Mary has done something, and we say, oh, oh well. Parents tend to uh, excuse their children, do they not? Uh, if it's another child, what's well, a different matter? But, but my child, we tend to excuse them and make excuses for them. Well, of course, the Lord doesn't do that. The Lord doesn't say, oh, well, come on, never mind. Uh, I know it was difficult. No, the scripture says it's a holy God. So he has to solve this problem and he has sold it in the cross, sold it in the cross of the Lord Jesus. And the Lord Jesus Christ paid for your sin and he paid for mine. You can't wash it away. You can't give money. You can't pray away your sin. You can't do good things to get rid of your sin. Your sin makes you guilty before God. The soul that sins will die.